Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Auto. So today we've got a Nissan Leaf for sale. It's a 2017 30 kilowatt hour, and this is a black edition. So the black edition spec sits between the Ascenta and the Tecna. So what you get on a black edition is obviously the black wheels, you get black mirror caps, you get uh, the black spoiler on the back, the rear windows are all tinted, you get uh, cameras all round like you get on the Tecna at the front, at the sides and at the back. You get the same interior as the Ascenta, so the um, cloth interior, but you also get the LED front headlights like you do on a Tecna. They only come in white or black. Uh, the white ones are the Arctic white, which is a solid white paint. This one is in particularly good condition, and so is the battery pack, but we'll go into that a bit more in a minute. But first off, let's just jump in, start it up. And the mileage of this one is 36,005 miles. So as I said, these have the cameras on like the Techno models. So if I put that in reverse there, we get the view out the back and then we get the bird's eye 360 degree view looking at uh, all sides of the vehicle. So these have obviously got a 30 kilowatt hour battery pack. Um, so the range uh, is very much dictated by driving style, uh, driving speed, and also whether it's summer or winter, because uh, heating use does reduce the range in the winter. But we can see here it's currently charged to 91%. I've just seen on lease by it's actually charged to 88%. Uh, we've got an estimated range of 103 miles there. Uh, and as you can see, we've still got 12 out of 12 uh, battery bars there, that state of health bars. Again, uh, the leaf spy, I've scanned the battery with leaf spy and the battery on this is 97.56% uh, currently. Battery state of health does fluctuate. I've seen them change as much as one and a half, two percent on these. But um, yeah, particularly good. Uh, much, much better than average on this car than you would normally see on a 30 kilowatt hour leaf. Um, and then if I just use the buttons there to scroll through, we can see there this only has one charging time which shows us it's got the three and a half kilowatt AC charger and it doesn't have that upgraded 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger, uh, which was an option on these. However, if you can charge at home, you're going to do your charging at night and it makes absolutely no difference whether it charges at three and a half kilowatt or six and a half kilowatt. Uh, so anyway, we have a look at the charge ports at the front, behind this flap, there's obviously the camera for looking out the front. So this is your AC charging port, three and a half kilowatt, as I said, and this is what you would use to uh, connect to your home or workplace wall charger or using the portable charger or any slow public charging posts. And this is your DC rapid charging port. It's a Chadamo port, and this gets you that rapid 30 minute charge that you would typically do if you're out driving doing a longer trip and you get those rapid charges in motorway services and many uh, petrol forecourts now. And then in the boot here, is your charging cable. That's your um, Type 1 to Type 2 AC charging cable, and that's what you would use to plug into uh, a wall charger or any um, public AC chargers. And then in this bag here, we've got a portable charger, often called a granny cable, and that's what you would use to charge off a normal main socket. Those do, these do take a little bit longer because that can only pull 2.3 kilowatt, whereas if you're charging on uh, an AC wall charger, you'll be pulling 3.6 kilowatt. So the primary purpose of this video is to show you the condition. And you may have seen my videos before, you know I point out every little stone chip mark or scratch I can find. I don't hide anything because I want people to know exactly what they're getting. And then the videos give people the confidence to buy the vehicle without coming here to view it first. And then I get the vehicle delivered to you and I can deliver these anywhere in the country. However, there's very little to point out on this one. It is in amazing condition. It's probably the best 2017 Leaf I've seen. Um, it's quite surprising that it's done 36,000 miles or 35,000 miles, I can't remember now. Uh, but yeah, you really wouldn't know. It looks more like it's a five or 6,000 mile car, to be honest. But we'll have a walk around and uh, there's just two tiny little stone chips I've got to show you. Um, 
Obviously we've got the green number plates on the front that shows it's a zero emission vehicle. There's absolutely no marks or stone chips on the uh, bonnet or the charge flap. There was a couple of little stone chips on the bonnet. Um, one was up there, which has been touched up with a little bit of the correct paint, but it's so small I cannot see it now. And there were two up here, there, but again, absolutely tiny, like a millimetre. And that is it. The front really is good. It's quite surprising. Um, all the wheels are scuff-free as well. Uh, there's a tiny little mark there, but so tiny you really wouldn't worry. And that's it. The wheels are just immaculate. Uh, the tyre tread depths are on the website. One of the back tyres is a little bit low. It's three and a half millimetres, but not quite low enough yet to justify putting a new tyre on there. Uh, no scratches on the um, mirror. There's a few little chips there. Are they chips or just, yeah, two little chips there, but very tiny, really small. Um, down this side, all really nice, no dents whatsoever or any scratches. Uh, it's all been polished and waxed as well. Uh, again, the alloy is completely mark free. Looking around the back, there's no marks at all, which is quite surprising. Normally you get marks on the bumpers on these because they are a very large plastic bumper and they normally get a few little knocks or scratches. And you normally get scratches along here where stuff gets loaded in the back, but really none on this. It really is quite exceptional. Just have a look in the boot. As you've seen in the boot already, but we've got the um, safety kit there with a the triangle and um, vest and everything. Your two charge cables. Um, with all modern cars, the carpets you get in boots are, are um, pretty poor, so they don't last very well. So, uh, But this is all pretty good. Um, but yeah, normally you would stick a mat down on the floor, to be honest. Um, but yeah, very clean and tidy. Continuing around here, that alloy is all mark free. Again, the alloys are exceptional on this. Looking down this side, the only thing I need to show you is somewhere in this door was a chip. And do you know what? I can't see it now. Where is it? It's somewhere in the middle there. Oh, there, I could feel it. So yes, there was a tiny little stone chip there, uh, about um, three, four millimetres. That's got a bit of paint in, uh, and that is it. Um, there isn't any dents or scratches along this side. The mirror cap is all perfect, and as is that other wheel. No marks at all on the wheel. Um, yeah, it's quite exceptional really, this car. Even down low on this front bumper, there's no scratching or marks um, below, which again is just really unusual. It's quite exceptional condition, this car. If I'm going to be super picky, the toe eye cover here is just sticking proud by about half a millimetre. Um, but it's not worth pinging that out because you have to get a screwdriver in there to reseat that because it's quite soft plastic and they often can mark. Um, but yes, yeah, quite exceptional condition this one. And looking in the inside, it's all very clean and tidy, no smells or anything. Um, this uh, suede effect fabric you get on these and the Ascenta models, they can be quite difficult to uh, keep clean. Um, but yeah, all very clean, tiny little mark there. Um, but yeah, very clean and tidy. And then looking at the front, I'll just take my bit of paper out there, carpet mat on the floor there. All I would just add is the one clip that holds the mat in on that side like that is missing on one side. It's obviously snapped off, but it really doesn't matter. The mat doesn't move where it is. Um, and a little bit of wear there on the bolster. Uh, you always get that on these with the suede effect fabric. It, gets, it just gets a little bit loose, but much better than average. And yeah, very clean and tidy inside. The other thing I'll point out on the interior, again, quite minor and completely normal on this and leafs, is the um, fabric here on the door card on the armrest. They do tend to wear in the middle here where um, your arm or hand is resting. Um, it's again, very common, all of them with the fabric um, trim do this. Um, it's not worn out at all. It's just the little uh, fibers of the brushed fabric. Uh, they just wear here and it's gone a little bit flat along that edge. Um, but yeah, as I said, completely normal. Uh, it happens to all of the Nissan leaves with this um, cloth interior. 
So, uh, as always, everything works without any faults or errors, as you would expect. Uh, let's just uh, get the paperwork out. We've got the uh, locking wheel nut key. In the boot is also the punter repair kit, as it should be. We've got uh, two original remote keys there. We've got the book pack here. It's got all of the uh, books, as you would want to see. What's that one there? Oh, pack code, original leaflet from when it was new. And um, service history book here. Uh, the only thing, this uh, hasn't been stamped previously by the previous owner. Um, so we've only got the one stamp for the service that's just been done. But obviously servicing on electric vehicles is absolutely minimal. There's no serviceable parts as such. And then we've got the logbook here. No previous keepers, so only one keeper from new. And the registration date is the 27th of the 6th, 2017. The vehicle has just gone into uh, Nissan because there was um, an outstanding uh, recall, which all these Leafs are getting this recall where they changed the earth plate on the battery pack and it also had a software update. Uh, it also had a brake fluid change as well. And then it's had the rest of the service um, at 36,005 miles, new cabin filter, new cabin filter cover, new front wiper blades, new rear wiper blades, the brake pads are all good, the um, tyre tread depths are on the website as I said, it's had the brake fluid changed, the 12 volt battery's been charged and tested, that's all good, and the traction battery's been tested and that is particularly good for one of these. And then MOT is until uh, 26th of June 2021. It was last done at 35,916 miles. So it's, God, it's only done a couple of hundred, well, it's only, it's only done a hundred miles or so since the last MOT. Uh, but obviously as that's getting near, um, actually that would be due to lockdown of course um, obviously as this MOT is uh, going to expire fairly soon then I've got no problems getting new MOT done but obviously it's done no miles since that last one um, so yeah that's all the paperwork obviously we've got um, leaf spy being done the picture the screenshot of that is uh, in the photo gallery so you can have a look at that uh, as are all the other pictures and anything I've pointed out you can go in the photo gallery and have a uh, a good look in detail, have a look at the pictures full screen and you can zoom up and have a look um, at anything I've shown you. But as I said on this car, it's absolutely f amazing condition. So yeah, two tiny stone chips that have been uh, filled in with a bit of paint and that's about it. So that's about it. Uh, if I've missed anything, it will be on the website as always. And uh, if there's anything else you want to know, of course you're welcome to email or call me. Um, a really exceptional condition leave this one um, I think it's probably the best condition bodywork as far as stone chip scratches a normal everyday wear and tear I've seen it is just absolutely in stunning condition and the black edition ones look really good look a bit different with the black wheels and the black mirrors and that black spoiler um, but you've got the advantage of course with the LED light so it's like a, a Tecna spec but without the leather interior basically um, so yeah, uh, this one's ready to go. So if you're interested, give me a call or email. And as I said, I can deliver these anywhere in the country and it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer and it will be fully charged and ready to use.